Have you ever stopped to wonder how the skyscrapers towering over our cities came to be? Picture the 19th century when the Industrial Revolution was in full swing. Cities were burgeoning, population was skyrocketing, and space, well, space was at a premium. The horizontal sprawl of the city could no longer accommodate this boom, and thus the concept of vertical growth was born. A significant figure in this transformation was an architect named Louis Sullivan. He was a visionary who believed in the philosophy of form follows function. This simple yet profound principle meant that the purpose of a building should determine its design. The skyscraper, with its verticality, was a perfect embodiment of this philosophy, an efficient solution to accommodate the increasing urban population. But a building's form is not just about aesthetics, it's about structural integrity too. Enter Gustav Eiffel, the man behind the world-renowned Eiffel Tower. His work was groundbreaking in the field of structural engineering. He demonstrated that tall structures could indeed be stable, simultaneously defying gravity and the skeptics. Eiffel's ingenuity paved the way for architects and engineers to dream bigger, to reach higher. As we look back at this era, we see a blend of necessity and ambition driving innovation. The urban landscape of the 19th century was the canvas, and architects like Sullivan and Eiffel were the artists, sketching the blueprint for the future skyline. Their vision was not just about building taller structures, but about creating spaces that could adapt and grow with the changing needs of society. These early influences, this blend of philosophy and science, set the stage for a dramatic shift in architectural design and technology. They were the foundation, the stepping stones that would lead us into the next century, a century where the sky was no longer the limit. As we move into the 20th century, these early influences set the stage for a dramatic shift in architectural design and technology. The dawn of the skyscraper era was marked by the construction of the Home Insurance Building in Chicago. Rising 10 stories high, this monumental edifice was hailed as the world's first skyscraper. The brainchild of engineer William LeBaron Jenny, the Home Insurance Building was a revolutionary blend of design elements and technological innovations. Its steel frame construction, a departure from the heavy masonry of the time, allowed structures to reach new heights without compromising stability. The construction of such a pioneering structure was not without its challenges. The thought of a building soaring above the cityscape was a daunting one and it posed a host of engineering hurdles. One of the most significant was the question of how to transport people and goods to the higher floors efficiently. The solution came in the form of a groundbreaking invention, the safety elevator. Patented by Elisha Otis, this innovation transformed vertical transportation and was instrumental in the evolution of skyscrapers. Another key advancement was the introduction of steel frames. Prior to this, buildings relied on thick, load-bearing walls for support, a method that was both impractical and limiting for high-rises. The use of steel frames, however, allowed for thinner walls and more floor space, paving the way for taller and more spacious buildings. As the architectural world pushed the boundaries of what was possible, an array of new materials also began to surface. Concrete, for instance, emerged as a reliable and versatile material, offering both strength and flexibility in construction. Similarly, advancements in glass technology led to the development of curtain walls, enabling architects to envelop skyscrapers in a sleek, glimmering sheath of glass. The pioneering structures of the late 19th and early 20th centuries paved the way for an architectural revolution. They were not merely buildings, but symbols of progress and ambition, testaments to the power of human ingenuity. These early skyscrapers laid the foundation for the towering giants we marvel at today, forever altering the way we perceive and inhabit urban spaces. The early 20th century marked a race among cities to build the tallest skyscrapers, this was an era where the sky was the limit and every city wanted its name etched in the annals of architectural history. New York and Chicago were the front runners in this vertical marathon, each vying to outdo the other with their towering structures. 
The Empire State Building, standing tall at a staggering 1,454 feet, was a testament to this fierce competition. Completed in the early 30s, it was a marvel of human ambition and engineering prowess. Its Art Deco design, with its distinctive stepped-back style, set a new standard in skyscraper aesthetics. Not far behind was the Chrysler Building, another jewel in New York's architectural crown. This skyscraper, with its gleaming spire and ornate terraced crown, was an embodiment of the city's industrial power and prosperity. It was the world's tallest building, albeit briefly, until the Empire State Building claimed that title. Chicago, not to be outdone, responded with its own towering achievements. The city's skyline was punctuated with architectural marvels, each a testament to the city's resilience and ingenuity. The Wrigley Building, with its gleaming white façade, and the Tribune Tower, with its neo-Gothic design, were among the city's standout structures. This period also saw a flurry of architectural movements influencing skyscraper design. The sleek lines and geometric patterns of Art Deco were prominent, as were the minimalist aesthetics of the international style. Each building was not just a functional structure, but a work of art, a statement of the city's identity. As we move through the 20th century, skyscrapers became symbols of progress and prosperity. They were signposts of a city's ambition, its place in the world. They were no longer just buildings, they were landmarks, icons, the very embodiments of the cities they graced. Our journey into the evolution of skyscrapers continues, so stay with us as we delve deeper into this fascinating story. In the late 20th century, skyscrapers began to reflect our growing concern for the environment. The architecture of these magnificent structures started to incorporate more than just aesthetics, height and functionality. Modern construction techniques played a pivotal role in this transition, and technology became an indispensable tool in the architect's kit. Computer-aided design, or CAD, revolutionized the way architects conceived and executed their designs. No longer confined to two-dimensional blueprints, CAD allowed architects to visualize their creations in three dimensions, optimizing space utilization and structural integrity. Building Information Modeling, or BIM, took this a step further. It not only enabled three-dimensional visualization, but also facilitated a more integrated approach to design and construction. With BIM, architects, engineers and builders could collaborate on the same model, improving efficiency and reducing errors. But technological advancements were not the only defining characteristic of the modern skyscraper. As the world became more aware of the environmental impact of our activities, sustainability became a critical factor in skyscraper design. Architects began to explore eco-friendly designs integrating renewable energy sources, natural ventilation and green spaces into their buildings. Leadership in energy and environmental design, or LEED, emerged as a globally recognized certification for green buildings. Skyscrapers that achieved LEED certification not only minimized their environmental footprint, but also offered healthier, more productive spaces for their occupants. The use of sustainable materials further underscored this shift towards environmental responsibility. Recycled steel, low-emission glass and reclaimed wood became popular choices, reducing waste and promoting resource conservation. Conservation. The skyscrapers of today are not just about height and grandeur, but also about sustainability and harmony with the environment. They are a testament to our ability to innovate, adapt and create structures that not only touch the sky, but also respect the earth. These modern giants stand tall, not just as symbols of our ambition, but as beacons of our commitment to a sustainable future. Skyscrapers are not just tall buildings, they are cultural symbols that shape the skyline of cities around the world. They're a testament to human ambition, ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of progress. From the soaring Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the tallest building in the world, to the iconic Sydney Opera House in Australia, these structures reflect the distinct cultures and architectural traditions of their homelands. Across the continent, skyscrapers are more than just functional spaces. They are landmarks, tourist attractions and sources of national pride. In North America, the One World Trade Center stands as a symbol of resilience and unity. In Europe, the Shard in London, with its distinctive glass facade, redefines the city's skyline. In Asia, the Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur represent the rapid growth and modernization of Malaysia. But the story of skyscrapers doesn't stop here. 
As we move forward, the future of these towering structures is set to be even more exciting. The emergence of vertical cities and megastructures are trends that could redefine urban living. Imagine entire communities living, working and thriving in a single megastructure. It's a vision that could help address issues of urban sprawl and overpopulation. The integration of smart technology and skyscraper design is another trend to watch. Buildings of the future could be self-sustainable, equipped with renewable energy sources, waste management systems and even indoor farming facilities. Imagine a building that generates its own power, recycles its waste and grows its own food. It's a concept that's not too far-fetched. These trends, coupled with advancements in material science and construction technology, could lead to skyscrapers that are taller, more sustainable and more technologically advanced than ever before. As we look to the future, skyscrapers will continue to inspire and shape our urban landscapes. They will push the boundaries of what's possible and stand as monuments to our collective ambition and ingenuity. Here's to the skyscrapers of tomorrow and the endless possibilities they represent. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the City Manac channel for more.